Where are my star lovers out there? I wanted to start up a new regular series. This is not going to be a weekly series, but it's on anything new that I've collected lately that has stars or has to do with stars, the universe, the skies, etc. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I love anything that has to do with stars. I love the design, the shapes, the artwork. I love it in my clothes. I love it in my art supplies. I love it in animation, video games. I look out for anything stars wherever I go. And I want to share my collection of starry things with you guys. If you're a star lover like me, this will be awesome. But maybe if you're not, you have a star lover in your life. Or if you just want to hear about cool things that you might want to grab yourself, keep on watching. This will be a good time. I do want to do specific themes for the star collection slash haul video. Videos. But for now, it's going to be a little bit random, so bear with me. These are things I've purchased for the last month or so. Time to go off on Starry Adventure 1. Are you a fan of fuzzy socks? Well, I have two pairs of Starry fuzzy socks. The background is in this cream color. I have a pair that have pale rose stars all over them with flecks of silver jutting out from the stars. And I have a gray pair. There's a little stripe at the top too. I got these at Daiso. I know my Daiso purchases just keep popping up. I got a lot at Daiso, let's just say that. These socks are perfect for the Pacific Northwest where we essentially have winter for five to six months. My feet are always freezing. So I really need to cover them up in order to be productive or my feet will just be shivering the entire day. I have a ton of fuzzy socks so I think I'll actually make a video on my fuzzy sock collection that will be out in the near future. When I saw these at Daiso, I thought I'd grab a pair. I think there was also a pair with blue stars, but I just wanted to start out with these two. The extra little shine of the silver gives the socks a little bit more something than just color on a kind of plain background. I'm gonna have myself some warm, sturdy feet. I have another pair of socks. This is from Socket To Me, and there are constellations all over this pair of knee socks. I recognize a few of the constellations. My line of thinking was that it could blend in well with skirts or shorts or dresses where I feel like flaunting a little bit of leg <laughs> or where I don't feel like wearing leggings or tights. I recognize some of the constellations. Um, I haven't looked at it too closely so I don't know if there are any zodiac constellations but comment below and let me know what your zodiac is. I was born at the end of July, so I'm a Leo. This is in a navy blue color and the constellation dots, stars, and lines are in this kind of baby blue or light blue color. This color combination is good because it's not a sudden stark contrast with the blue and white. And what's really nice about the Socket To Me socks is that they're blended with cotton, so they're not gonna be scratchy on your leg. Because while there is some synthetic material, at least it has a naturalness that will help your leg to breathe. At least in the winter time, I still get kind of sweaty, so it's nice when your socks also breathe. When you walk around outside and you're wearing boots. I can't wait to wear this with an outfit where I kind of want this kind of starry constellation pop. More likely against a subdued top half of my body. I think constellations are so cool because there's just something kind of otherworldly about them. Maybe because all these stars are so far away from Earth. It just makes you kind of ponder how minuscule life is here on Earth and how many millions of stars there are and other objects in the universe. I know, I'm getting kind of deep about socks. <laughs> I have an art supply for the third item and it's this washi tape. It's not really easy to see from this distance, so I'll give you a close-up. So there are planetary bodies just lined up on this washi tape. There's the moon, there's a comet, or Saturn because I see little rings around this little planet. There's a rocket and the sun, and there are kind of stars dotted next to these objects. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. I feel like kids would really like this because the different shapes have faces. I feel like this would be really relatable and fun for children. The art kind of reminds me of Japanese anime because the objects have faces. The rocket doesn't have a face though, so I guess he's just a rocket. Um, there's also a little alien dude. So this would be really fun actually to wrap a present or to put in a notebook. Maybe to block out a page if you wanted to separate that from the rest of the information that you're writing down. Washi tape can be used for so many different arts and crafts. I personally love using washi tape when I write letters, if I want to line the edges, or I want to add, you know, something to a card that's more personalized and not just one that you buy at the store. Now that I think about it, I'm kind of getting Magic School Bus vibes 
Did you watch that show in the 90s? It was a teacher, Miss Frizzle, taking her kids kind of on crazy adventures. They would learn about various topics and science and math, for example, and the wacky art, especially Miss Frizzle's dresses. I feel like they were so iconic because she changed her dress in every episode to match the theme of the topic that kids were learning about. This reminds you of kind of that wacky art, but you also feel like you're learning something at the same time. If you've seen my sparkly lookbook, then you probably saw this item, and it's this tinsel from Daiso. Yeah, I know. The Daiso items just keep coming. And honestly, it's probably just me, but I love tinsel. When I was a kid in one of my classes, we had to actually put a book together of the things that we loved. And I put a ton of pictures of tinsel for some reason. I don't know, I guess I'm really attracted to shiny objects in a way I'm a bit like a cat. So I'm not gonna talk about this too long because really tinsel, you only use it for the holidays to you know, put around your Christmas tree or to put around your stairs. But hey, I'm just gonna go fangirl about tinsel for a moment. This is purple, my favorite color, and there are six point stars all over it. This is a double whammy for me, and it was super fun to use in a fashion lookbook. I think whenever you see tinsel, you just think of the holidays, you think of Christmas, and just enjoyable times that you're going to have with family and friends. So having tinsel around just makes your life a lot shinier and fun. I really need to figure out what to use this for as a holiday decoration. And the third thing that this has going for it is that it is holographic too. So purple, holographic, and stars. I'm gonna keep this tinsel forever. <laughs> My last item isn't specifically star related, but it is something that you will find in the night sky, and it is a mouse pad in the shape of a moon. I actually got this mouse pad from Amazon, and I'm very happy with it. So it is the moon, but if the moon had some rainbow colors, it just adds a little bit more to the moon just because, you know, the moon could just be gray and white. And I love color, so it makes me happy to see a lot of different colors. The mouse pad is pretty well made. It's pretty thick, so it's not just a thin one that just slips off your desk. You accidentally push it with your mouse, for example. And while the surface isn't the normal rectangle or square, I thought I would have trouble because the surface isn't in a rectangle or square shape that I'm used to. Um, I haven't had any problems with kind of running out of room for the mouse to glide over as I'm using my laptop. So if you're looking for something celestial to add to your desk or a gift for someone that works at the office who's at their desk a lot, this would be super cute. Where I purchased this from Amazon, you could actually pick the design you wanted if you just wanted the gray and white moon or even if you wanted another planet, it had those available as well. The only critique I would have is that the art is a teensy bit pixelated but that's only if you look super close but because the art is done in this really colorful kind of cloudy art style you don't notice the pixelation too much unless you look at it microscopically but hey it's not flimsy and it's been really functional for me and I have another kind of starry theme element to add to my desk and office my office is still in progress and we're done with episode one of my starry finds I'll be back soon with the second installation of this series and comment below and let me know if you enjoyed it or if there's anything in particular you'd like to see and see if I can add into future videos. I kind of want to do this in a show and tell, review, and maybe kind of rant ray format. I don't know if I'll pick one or kind of do a little bit of this and that, depending on the episode. But expect to see some awesome starry items and themes in future episodes. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss all of the starry things that I'll be showing you in the future. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!